Thank you to everyone who's joined us for the Lunch and Learn today. Today we are learning about ShareSite. ShareSite is a solution to assist you in um, comprehensive investment of portfolio tracker and reporting tool for accountants and bookkeepers. And we have here today Chris Stojewski to, uh, <laughs> did I get it right? Close enough, yeah. Close. <laughs> <laughs> to um, share with us everything that we need to know about ShareSite. So take it away, Chris. Excellent. Well, thank you for that uh, introduction, Heather. It's an absolute pleasure to be here on the podcast today. So I'll uh, I'll share my screen and I'll get right into it. So just to confirm, everyone, well, Heather, you can see my screen. If you can, everyone can. Yes, I can see your screen. Yes. Perfect. All righty. Well, um, for those of you that haven't heard about ShareSite, uh, we're a, a portfolio tracker. Um, started off in New Zealand. So a, a father and son actually founded the business uh, in, in, the, in Wellington in New Zealand, I should say, similar to where, or close by to where Zero was actually founded. So yeah, so basically a, a father and son founded us. Um, the idea behind it was the father sort of invested in, in stocks and was after a solution on, on to, you know, a way to sort of track the performance. Um, so he spoke to his son about it. His son sort of partnered with a couple of developers and they they built the solution within six months, I was told. And then obviously there's been a lot of improvements since then. Um, so initially it was exclusive to New Zealand. Um, more recently, it's sort of expanded to Australia uh, and now, we, now we've sort of gone global. Uh, so we just recently uh, achieved a milestone of 250,000 users around the globe. Uh, so predominantly, we were built for, for DIY investors to track their, their investments. And more recently, we do tax reporting as well. Um, but now we've got accountants, bookkeepers, financial advisors, and family officers that use the solution. Um, we also have two products. So ShareSite, which is the, the solution for the DIY investors. And we have ShareSite Pro, uh, which is our financial, uh, our, the product for financial professionals. Um, so accountants, bookkeepers, and financial advisors, and, and some family offices tend to use ShareSite Pro. Uh, as for me, I'm the account manager for ShareSite Pro. So as part of my role, I sort of uh, meet with new and, and prospective clients, assist with the onboarding, um, and also on top of that, look after our existing clients as well with the support of my colleagues. Before I proceed, so today, I guess the focus I'll, I'll pretty much show you what the software looks like and then we can take any questions at the end. Um, but before I proceed, just to let you know, ShareSite does not hold an AFSL. Uh, so we're technically not a financial product. Uh, we're purely just a portfolio tracker. Uh, and anything that I say today is general in nature. Um, so just what I'll get that out of the way, but I'll, I'll dive right into it and show everyone what ShareSite looks like. So effectively, um, when you, and this is just a demo portfolio, by the way, it's not my, my personal one, uh, just in case you're looking at the balance and wondering. Uh, but basically, when you, you sort of set everything up with ShareSide, and I'll discuss that, uh, I guess, as part of this process, this is sort of the, the first screen uh, that either an accountant, bookkeeper, or even a DIY investor would see when they log into ShareSite. So in summary, it's sort of similar to what you'd sort of have in an Excel spreadsheet. It gives you that the breakdown. Uh, but it consolidates all the information as part of this overview page. So there's there's three parts to ShareSite. It's aggregating data, uh, performance reporting, and then tax reporting as well. And I understand probably the tax reporting will be of interest uh, to most of you today. So I'll go for our reporting later on. Uh, but as you can see, the first thing you sort of uh, have access to when you log into ShareSite is, is the balance of the portfolio. Uh, you can specify the actual date range for the performance. So say, for example, if you wanted to know what the performance was for the last three months, you could sort of click on that. And on the actual screen, we'll automatically recalculate the return uh, for that date range. So it's quite powerful from the reporting sense. Uh, and there's also a performance report, which you can generate. And I'll, I'll talk to that a little bit later. There's functionality to show open positions only or open and closed positions. So open and closed would be the historical buys and sells, whereas open positions would be currently what's with the broker, the, the open holdings. Uh, we've got a number of various graphs. I'm not personally a visual person, um, but for, for those DIY investors, they tend to really like these graphs and, and play around with it. There's also grouping functionality. So at the moment it's grouped by market. 
So as you can see, the ASX, uh, FX. So I'll talk about the markets that we support as well. NASDAQ, so you can actually group it. There's custom groups available to put it uh, in any format that you like, but if, there's a couple of default options as well. So if you go to go to country, it rearranges the whole screen and groups it by country for you. Uh, then there's also the position, uh, the option to show it as a percentage or as a as a dollar amount. And again, we'll sort of recalculate that on the screen uh, and then compare it to a benchmark. This is sort of a tool that financial advisors tend to use more more than accountants and bookkeepers, but it is it is there. So, um, in particular, even DIY investors may may sort of look at it. They they may want to compare their performance to a particular benchmark. So we've got a couple of default options, but. Uh, any of the markets that we support, uh, you can type that in here and, and compare that as well. Um, so everyone's, I guess, potentially wondering at this stage how many markets we do support. So it's uh, 40 exchanges that we do support. We get 20-minute unit pricing uh, for Australia and New Zealand. So that's 40 stock markets. Uh, we also support managed funds and mutual funds uh, across Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the UK. Uh, I note that Heather said that there was someone from Thailand uh, on the call. So welcome to that person. We, we do support the Thai market in ShareSite. Um, that's a, a recent announcement that we did. We also support cryptocurrencies. Um, and we've also got functionality to, to track unlisted investments as well. And I can uh, show you how that works a little bit later on. So scrolling down, um, basically the, the information that we capture is the price. Um, so for most markets, it's uh, end of day uh, for the ASX and NZX 20 minute pricing. We capture the quantity, the value, any capital gain or loss, any dividends, any currency gain or loss, and then the return um, across all these different markets. So you can group this in whichever format you like. And then if I scroll down, it sort of gives you the totals at the bottom. In terms of a cash account functionality, we have uh, fr three options. Um, so the most popular one being zero. So we, we integrate with zero. Um, and the data that we actually send through to zero is the buy, sell, and dividends. So that automatically pushes through to zero um, as, as well as any associated um, transaction costs such as brokerage. Uh, we also have a, an integration with Macquarie cash accounts as well. Um, and that's more so from the advisor perspective. And uh, also a, a manual cash account um, for anyone that sort of wants to manually track transactions that's not using zero. So how this would work is for predominantly for like a, a DIY investor who uh, maybe has like a brokerage account, maybe with Comsec and they, they have an opening balance and they just want to, uh, you know, track all the buys and sells and dividends and all of that. We, you know, the, the buys and sells will, will feed through automatically, but any dividends or other transactions can be added to that as well. So from a, a cash management perspective, those are the free integrations that we have. So I'll uh, move on to the next tab, which is our, our holdings page. And what this basically does is it gives you a, a breakdown of the holdings, uh, well, of the investment per holding. Um, so right here, I've got West Farmers, which is a, a security listed in Australia. So it just gives you the breakdown. You can sort of get the return as well. If you wanted to go, what, what it, what's it done in the last two years? It will give you the return. Again, you can compare that to a benchmark, show, uh, change the graph around if you wish to do that. Uh, and then I guess this is sort of where ShareSite is really powerful. So we automatically... Um, capture the dividend information. Um, so it saves accountants and bookkeepers a lot of time. Um, and we, we do the tax reporting, which I'll show you, uh, I guess, as, as my next sort of tab that I'll go through in reporting. So we automatically capture dividends. Uh, we also can automatically do DRPs. Uh, as you can see for this example, it's already turned on. So for, if I just go turn off DRP, so for those that are outside of Australia, um, I guess in Australia and some other countries, there's functionality for investors to automatically get dividends reinvested. So that's what I mean by a DRP. Um, so now it's sort of turned off. Uh, so we automatically capture the buys and sells and also corporate actions. We, we, we automatically do corporate actions. So any share consolidations, any share splits uh, and return of capital, 
um, is what we do, but you, you also do have scope to sort of manually um, do adjustments. But going back to the DRP piece, if I turn it on, it's recalculating. So it's uh, automatically redone all the calculations, assuming that the DRP has happened. Um, and also you've got functionality to sort of choose which ones you want by going to confirm transactions. So maybe you have a, a client that's had the DRP on for a set date range. Uh, so you can sort of untick these and, and choose the ones that you want um, if need be. So that's how we handle that. In terms of corporate actions, if there's a merger, so say for example, one stock has taken, well, one business has taken over another business on an exchange, um, we've got functionality to, to handle them as well. So you could go to merge holdings. Um, but we've got extensive information on, on how to handle corporate actions on our on our website. So our help page talks you talks you through that. Um, with all the transactions, you can actually edit them as well. Uh, so you can come in here, you know, make any changes or override the data. Not that you'd need to. Our, our data is is to a very high standard. Uh, we've got providers that give this to us. But you know, having said that, you can make you know add dividends manually or or make any changes. So we do have scope to do that. So we are customizable in that sense. Moving on to the right-hand side, um, just has the instrument details, holding information, the cost base, but we've also got a report that captures that. Any corporate actions will come up here. You can attach files to share site. You can make comments, labels, uh, so you can color code holdings. And how this sort of works is um, say, for example, there's a client that has multiple stockbrokers, they could label the holdings by stockbroker, and then that's reflected in the overview page and the reports as well. Um, and then the holding settings where you can turn on a, a DRP and a merger holding as well if you need to. So that's our um, the holdings tab. But as part of this, I will we'll show you how to get data into ShareSite and also how to add an unlisted or custom investment. So if I go to add a new holding, so I've got functionality to sort of um, add cusp. So for example, if I wanted to go add a term deposit, um, just come down here and you can put that through as fixed interest. So and you can pre-fill all, all of that data and then choose the country that it's domiciled in. Uh, so there are various things, but like for, for anyone in New Zealand, they can add PI funds. You can add like an investment property uh, just as a property fund. So that's sort of how we capture the unlisted investments. In terms of pulling data into ShareSite, there's three ways in which that can be done. So you can obviously manually do it, adding the buys and sells, or the two most popular ways are importing it from a broker. So there are various brokers that we have integrations with. Uh, so say, for example, uh, CMC Markets is a popular one, but if you click on this link, it sort of asks for the client's credentials and provides instructions on, on how to import that data. If I go back, the second most popular way is uh, a CSV file. So you can bulk import data into ShareSite. So uh, for the Australia and New Zealand market, we've got up to 23 years of history. For international markets, it's 10 years. Uh, and these are the data sets that we need if you're going to do it in the form of a, a CSV file. So the date of trade, the instrument or the ticket code. So uh, for example, that would be app, like whatever the market, whatever the code is for Apple, uh, the market code as uh, NASDAQ, uh, and then the quantity of, of shares, the price paid, uh, and then just the transaction type, whether it be a, a buy or sell. So these are the six data sets we require if you want to upload it via a CSV file. Um, so the next question, I guess, that people may be thinking to themselves, how do you keep the portfolios up to date? And I'll quickly talk about that and then go to our reports. I'm just sort of mindful of time. Um, so with us, every portfolio has a trade confirmation email. So how, how it works is this email address is actually provided to the stockbroker uh, and it can be provided to multiple brokers. So, uh, you know, depending on your relationship with with the broker, but you could either provide this to them directly, or you could ask your client to provide this to the broker. And where CC and when what happens is they send the contract note to their client, but they can also see see us in. Um, so we actually get the trade confirmation, and then we've got a, a feature, you know, similar to optical uh, character recognition that reads the contract note and automatically updates share site with the latest trade within five minutes. 
Um, so basically, as long as this is provided to the broker, um, all of the, the, the future trades actually stay up to date within ShareSite. So it makes it completely automated. Um, for Australia and New Zealand, we support every single broker. For other parts of the world, um, we're working on supporting even more. But even if it's a broker we don't support, we have a designated team that, that's mapping contract notes so we can support them. So we're, we're open to supporting every broker across every country. Uh, so that's how it works in terms of keeping the portfolios up to date. Moving on, we provide uh, extensive reporting. So this sort of varies by country. Uh, I'm mindful that most of the users uh, are in Australia. So I'll talk, I guess, about what we do uh, in Australia for now, but we also do tax reporting for New Zealand and for Canada. Uh, and, and for those that are outside of those countries, um, they have access to the historical cost report if they want to track the cost base, um, as well as the old trades report. But basically, we do performance reporting, uh, multi-currency valuation reporting as well. These top reports uh, tend to be used by financial advisors, more so than accountants and bookkeepers. Um, but from an accounting or bookkeeping perspective, we have like the, the taxable income report, which I'll quickly show everyone what that looks like. And then I'll talk about one of the other reports because I'm just mindful of time. So the taxable income report uh, basically just calculates the income for a specified date range. So you can actually uh, type over this and choose your own date range. Uh, all of our reports, you can export them in Excel or PDF uh, or Google Drive. Um, and then it just sort of breaks it down. So for Australia, it's got local income. We've got all the, the fields that the Australian Taxation Office requires. Um, and we also capture information for international holdings, um, as you can see here as well. Um, so yeah, we've got this and this report uh, is available in New Zealand as well and in Canada. And as you can see, we do we do foreign income as well. So it's quite really useful to, um, to Australians and New Zealanders. Uh, in, in Australia and New Zealand, we, we also uh, do, well, capital gains report doesn't apply to, to New Zealand, but we do the fifth report. Uh, for New Zealand, and that will sort of come up in a New Zealand portfolio. This is an Australian portfolio is why you can't see it. But if I show you the uh, capital gains tax report, just clicking on that now. Um, as you can see, we, we automatically calculate the long-term capital gains, uh, capital losses as well. Uh, for this portfolio, there hasn't been any short-term ones just because it's a demo, but that would be a, a separate category as well. Um, so you can actually choose the date range. If there's previous losses that you want to bring forward, you can build that into it. Uh, we can change the sale allocation method. So there's functionality to choose. So these are all in accordance with the Australian Taxation Office. But say, for example, if you change this and you can do it by individual holding, update the report it will automatically calculate it. And if I scroll down, it's got the calculation here at the bottom. So yeah, so you can choose the sale allocation method. And again, you can export this uh, in Excel and PDF and all of this data actually feeds through to zero as well. Um, for those of you, or for advisors tend to like the, uh, the unrealized CGT report, um, but those, those of you that are, I guess, from outside of Australia or New Zealand, we have the historical cost report which tracks the uh, historical cost base uh, and also the multi-currency valuation report, which is sort of gaining in popularity. This allows you to see a portfolio, uh, the entire holdings of a portfolio as at any currency of your choosing as well. Um, but yeah, that's, um, I guess I'm just sort of mindful of time. There's so many more things I could talk about, but yeah, those are sort of the, the most popular reports. Uh, so I'll just go back to the... Uh, overview page and I guess we can sort of take any take any questions but I'll stop sharing my screen. Thank you so much Chris that was a really fascinating a really slick looking solution so I'd like to um, ask anyone if they do have any questions to pop them in the chat area or join us online to um, ask Chris um, some questions but uh, while we're waiting to see if um, anyone has any questions can I ask what happens to your data um, once you end your relationship with ShareSite? Yeah, so, um, well, the, the data, it, it's saved in the cloud. Um, but, yeah, obviously, from, a, from a, like a risk and privacy perspective, we could just sort of, if someone wants to, to leave ShareSite, we can just arrange to clear that data. 
Mm -hmm. But okay, so um, um, say if um, I, I stop share trading at the end of the financial year, but then two years later, I need to give some information to someone. Can I jump back in and access that? Yeah, yeah. Unless like we can, if someone wants it cleared, we can do that. Um, but yeah, absolutely. We we'll, unless instructed otherwise, we will re we will retain the data. So yeah, say for example, you just sort of delete the wall, just. I guess close down your your membership with or your subscription yeah. with share yeah. side and then reactivate it two years later. You can go back and get that historical data uh, unless you've instructed us to delete it. Okay, excellent, excellent. So we've had a question. Um, we've asked, could you give us a demonstration of how the crypto trading works, please? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, in what like uh, like in terms of adding a holding and and all of that, or in in what context? Jacinta, what context would you like it in? Here she is. Just hang on, coming. hang on. So, um, yep. hello, everyone. Um, hello, Jacinta. I'm expecting clients to walk into our office and say, hey, I've been trading crypto this yep. year because mm -hmm. I've got $20,000 that happened to appear from my superannuation fund. Here are my Excel reports from the various wallets and goodies that I've been trading around in. And I am trying to find um, a scalable solution. I mean, a quick little spreadsheet to do some due diligence on the um, the numbers is okay if they've got one to 10 trades, yep. but we're going to have hundreds of trades. And um, I'm looking for the, I guess, the unicorn solution for that from an accountant's officer's point of view. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, well, I can sort of, I guess I can talk through that. But basically, you know, I guess from an accounting, within ShareSite, all of that data can, can feed through to our tax reporting. So just a matter of importing all of the buys and sells into ShareSite, and it would just be reflected the same way that like a listed security would be. Um, so like when I went to that hold, like I can, I'll quickly share my screen with Bitcoin and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. That's right. I've actually got my own one open too. So. Oh, that's so. okay. <laughs> um, so say, so I think I'm pretty sure I've got Bitcoin in this uh, demo portfolio. I don't think you grabbed it. Did you? It flicked pretty quickly then. Oh no, you did. Sorry. Yep. That's okay. So we've got, oh, this is a. Oh, anyway, that, I think it's a Canadian demo portfolio, but that's all good. doesn't matter. Hello to our Canadian friends, if there's anyone out there. Um, but the concept's sort of the same. But yeah, so obviously with this one here, Bitcoin was bought 1st of April 2016. So if you import the data in, it would just, I mean, you can sort of manually do it as well, but you could just have the cells in here, for example. So, so you sell 100. It also calculates the price for you as at that date as well. Um, and the exchange rate. So as long as you've got the date and the quantity, um, we'll automatically do all the calculations. So just sort of having a, an Excel spreadsheet with those six data sets that I spoke about when you import the data in. Um, and then, oh, what happens? Saving, oh, maybe this. I didn't realize how much 100 Bitcoin was. Yeah, it's obviously a lot of money, but yeah, that may, because can't go into negative. Um, so yeah, so I've done that now. So there's one cell and then, this should actually, this, is a, this would be a good test. But if I go to reporting, um, if we go to the old trades report for Canada, so it'll come up in here. Oh, I, I did it as at today's date. That's why it hasn't come up, but it'll come up tomorrow. Um, but I guess to answer your question, yeah, if you were to add the historical buys or sells, uh, it would come up in the Australian tax reporting. Okay. So it's a matter of... Um a matter of sort of like adding in the CSVs that they're downloading from their um, from their trading platforms. Correct. And um, okay. Cool. So it's similar to like a, a broker. We, you know, we, we like even with stocks, every every stock broker has the uh, the buys and sells that happen over a set date range, which I'm assuming you'll get that from a, a crypto provider, Jacinta. Um, and just a matter of having those six data sets and that, that can sort of be uploaded into ShareSite. Mm, okay. There's, there's some other crypto online um, ones, ones that we've been playing with and I've had some test data and they've, the, um, the calculations have come out differently. So um, I'll, I'll have a look to see if, you, if your figures match 
um, match any of the ones with our test data that we've been using. Certainly, and that and that sort of reminds me, I guess, while I'm while I'm here, just if, if anyone wants to learn a little bit more about ShareSite, we've got a, a 30 day free trial of our professional products. So just go to pro.sharesite.com for the 30 day free trial. Uh, and also, if anyone has any particular questions uh, after this call, obviously we're still taking questions, um, but they're more than welcome to email me directly, chris at sharesite.com. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity to share the details. But yeah, if you go to pro.sharesite.com or even if you just Google ShareSite Pro, uh, you'll be able to find us for a 30 day free trial. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, hopefully that answered uh, your question, Jacinta, or moved you along on that pathway of discovery. Um, we've had another great question. I've lost my chat area. Here it is here. Another great question. Oh, I've lost my chat area. Why is that opening up for me? And it is, can a couple have a combined portfolio whereby each person has shares plus jointly owned shares and reports can be run for each individual or the joint account. So I guess in an individual basis, it might be split up by their percentage of ownership as well. Yeah, that, that's that's a really good question. Um, we we do we actually do have consolidated views. So all the reports, with the exception of the tax reports, can be run. Uh, so I can quickly show you how that sort of looks. But yeah, it, it comes up quite a lot. So say, for example, uh, this is sort of the dashboard that an accountant would see if they were to purchase a ShareSite Pro subscription. Um, but how that would sort of work is, uh, yeah, you just create like a consolidated view. So I've, I've got one here already made. And what it's done is it's included uh, free portfolios. Obviously, um, I guess in the example, in this example here, you know, Chris Investment Trust, maybe my self-managed super fund, and then this demo portfolio, but you could do the same for two people in a relationship. Um, and then sort of as, as you scroll down, uh, it tells you which um, holding is in which portfolio. So it actually consolidates. And then when you sort of go to the bottom, it gives you the, the total assets uh, all, all combined together. So to answer the question, you can do that. And then you can generate all the reports with the, we can do the historical cost report, but you can do all of the reports with the exception of the tax reports. Uh, the reason the tax reports aren't available for this is because we treat every single portfolio as a tax entity. Um, so obviously you can't do one tax return for multiple entities. Excellent. Th thank you so much for that, Chris. Um, and you're welcome to drop in if you've got any other questions. I do have a question about the um, integration with Xero. Yeah. Does it integrate with any of uh, your Xero files? So your cash book files, which I believe it does through it to does. your business files. Yeah. Yeah, that's very interesting how it does yeah. that. All, all, all versions of Xero, uh, I get, obviously with the exception of Xero tax, we don't currently integrate with them, but all, all other versions of Xero we do. Um, and as I mentioned before, it pushes through the, the buys, the sales and the dividends, um, and then the associated transactions with them. So like brokerage and, and tax credits and all of that. Um, but what I, what I will do, I'll quickly show you on our website as well, we've got an extensive explanation on how it works so if you sort of go to our just sharesite.com wow. and then we've got a help section in the bottom uh you can scroll up connect and just type in connect your portfolio to zero we've got a, a video of how that works um and then we also sort of talk about the data uh that we push through to them as well and i saw as you flick through that um it said that you could track 10 10 things for free is that part of the 30-day trial is that what that is as, yeah, as so, you flick through that website so that's sort of for our our retail users so how how it sort of works yeah so th there's two products so share site which is for the diy investors so i mean the, the free plan for them is up to 10 holdings um for professionals like accountants and bookkeepers uh it's yeah 30 day free trial so if, to anyone wanting to to trial share site to see all the features i'd suggest um going in, in ShareSite Pro and giving us a go for 30 days. Um, but obviously, if you want to use it for personal reasons, um, yeah, feel free to go to ShareSite.com and, and register for the DIY investor. Um, Absolutely. Solution. So you've got to make sure you pick the right solution if we're going for it. Okay. So interestingly, we've just had a few more people um, join the session. So yes. does anyone have any um, more questions of Chris? Um, it was really interesting um, um, session there. And, and it's amazing how many 
business has come out of Wellington, isn't it? So you've it got yeah. ShareSite, you've got Spotlight Reporting, you've got Minute Doc. What's going on in the water in Wellington? It's a very innovative place. Uh, there's a lot happening out there. I was quite fortunate to, to get out there and meet uh, our developers uh, and our chief technology officer a couple of weeks ago. So it's, uh, it's a happening place. Yeah. Chris is saying it's uh, Australia's Silicon Valley. Oh, we've got Chris Wheatley here. Okay. Well, hello, Chris. I actually spoke to him last week. <laughs> the Australian Silicon Valley. Maybe it's um, the USA Silicon Valley or New Zealand Silicon Valley, unless we're claiming New Zealand as Australia yet again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a lot of Australians claim zero, um, but yeah, oh, it's, it's getting a bit controversial there. Swap, yes. swap WA for New Zealand. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud, but <laughs> we're all friends here. We're all friends here. Hello Absolutely. to anyone from Western Australia. We love you. Absolutely. Now, are there any other questions for people? I've just got one very small last question. When you were going through the demonstration, on the bottom right-hand side, it said computer share, which compute share, maybe it's compute share, which is the registry that holds shares in particular place. Does it suck all of the information and all of the PDFs out of that? Like, do the PDFs come? Do you, do you is it the absolute proof that you need for everything that you've done? No, we don't, we don't, the, the only PDFs that sort of come through are, are the trade confirmations. So for, yeah. for buys and sells, um, if they've set up the trade confirmation feature, the, the, they're actually saved as part of the inbox. So, uh, so that, yeah, that, so that's what you need. You, yeah. you, you need that because we can have a bank feed, but we need the, 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 the support behind it as well, I believe. Um, that's my understanding of it anyway. Not so that the, I'm the, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's okay. Well, I was, I was going to say, yeah, definitely for the buyers and sellers. And, and in terms of the dividends, we sort of calculate them automatically based on the data that we get from our providers. Um, and they're, they're highly accurate. And also for, for ETFs, uh, we get the, the distribution or the tax distributions as well uh, directly from the ETF providers, which I don't know how many other people out there do that. So um, from a tax reporting perspective, we sort of yeah get a lot of good feedback, especially for Australia and New Zealand. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Chris. Now, <laughs> um, if there are any other questions, I can't, I, we've just got banter happening in the chat yeah, area, but I don't okay. think we've got any more questions. All good. Um, so thank you so much, Chris, for joining us today. Do you want to just pop up your uh, contact us slides so people all know how to um, contact you? Certainly. Yeah. So just uh, either to visit pro.sharesite.com for the 30 day free trial or they're, they're more than welcome to contact me directly, chris at sharesite.com and happy to take any questions. Yeah, absolutely. And don't get confused about the professional versus the um, um, individual user um, solution there. So thank you so much, Chris, for joining us today and sharing with us everything that ShareSite does. Thank you. It's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks everyone for listening.